You know that feeling you get when you start to realize that maybe somebody's lying to you? Gold and silver investors, everyone, we've got some major problems right now that we need to talk about. Jerome Powell. I'm starting to think that possibly, just maybe, Jerome Powell is lying to us. Also, we need to talk about the R word, not Ron but recession. I have some indisputable proof that the U.S. economy, and for that matter, the world economy, is headed towards a recession. If we're not already in it right now, maybe even worse. And finally, I just want to give you some insights into some things I've learned about this J.P. Morgan, the guys, the trial for manipulating the price of precious metals, uh, that's ugly as well. But you know, I can't stand when somebody lies to me. But I think the only thing that bothers me more is someone who's habitually late. You know, like if you and I agreed Saturday, we're going to play tennis at two o'clock and at 2.12, I'm standing there waiting for you, right? I'm probably checking the price of gold on my smartphone. That's going down. So I'm getting the, I mean, my blood starts to boil. It's like, you know what, buddy? My time's valuable too. Your time's valuable. I appreciate you spending some with me here in Ron's basement. It's really my honor, my privilege to have you here. Heck, I'll probably only lie to you once a week. But if you do like my content, please, Subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, turn on the bell notifications, share it with anyone, even that friend that's always late for your tennis date. And don't forget, most important, leave a comment in the comment section below. Good, bad, insightful, irregardless, the comment section is where we all have an opportunity to learn. Now, let's talk about the recession here in St. Louis we have a company called Stiefel Nicholas, a prestigious financial organization, okay? These guys don't hang out in their basement. They put out a survey to CEOs and executives and 97%, that's like all of them, came back and said that we are headed toward a recession. 97%, now think about this. These are top executives. Number one, they're paid to be optimistic, okay? Number two, they have their finger on the pulse of the economy. 97% of them came back saying that we are headed toward a recession. To me, that offers indisputable proof that we are headed toward a recession. I wonder how many of those executives said we're actually headed toward a depression. They didn't uh, disclose that information. And I wonder if any of them said, no, we're just in a transition. Because that's how Jerome Powell and Janet Yellen explain our current situation. Despite two consecutive quarters of GDP contraction, they like to say that we're in a transition. That seems to be a politically correct word to use these days, transition. Well, I don't know about you, but the proof is in the pudding, and I don't believe that Jerome Powell is that blind if 97% of executives see that we're headed in a recession, that Jerome Powell can't see it. That's why I believe that maybe, maybe he's never been here. You know, I'd actually more like to have Janet Yellen come to meet with me here in Ron's basement. I could move the bear and we could sit her back there. But I think maybe they're not telling us the truth. They want to say the economy's good because they're doing this crazy kind of try to fight inflation. We got to raise rates, but we can't crash the economy. I call BS. The economy is contracting. They can't win the fight on inflation. We have stagflation. That will be good for the price of silver and gold. But I digress because one of our other Fed officials, a governor who reports to Jerome Powell, his name's Jim Bullard? Oh, and coincidentally, 
He's here in St. Louis as well. Well, Bullard came out yesterday and said, I think we need to raise rates by three quarters of a percent on the fight on inflation. We got to we got to stamp it down and the economy's got to can, can withstand it and everything else. Well, here's my thought. Maybe Jim Bullard should walk about three and a half blocks down the street to Stiefel Nicholas and talk to them and hear what they heard from the corporate executives who all say we're headed towards a recession. It's all a bunch of BS. And have you noticed that like every time this James Bullard, the St. Louis Fed governor speaks over the last two years, the price of gold and silver go down? I'd like to personally apologize for James Bullard, amongst other things, on behalf of the city of St. Louis. Now, since we're on the subject of untruths, I won't say liars, untruths, Let's talk about J.P. Morgan quickly. This big trial, they were convicted, two of their traders, for spoofing the gold market and the silver market, manipulating the market for years. Here's what I heard when I listened to somebody who had some insight into what went on. Number one, it wasn't just these guys. It went all the way up the bank, up the chain of command. People knew about it. Number two, it's not just J.P. Morgan. They're guilty and they deserve to be punished for what they did, but these other banks are also involved in this. But the only little bit of optimism we can get out of this whole thing is the fact that this has exposed even further what's been going on uh, in these markets, in gold and silver, when it comes to them being manipulated. And hey, some exposure won't hurt. I appreciate you joining me in Ron's basement. Like I said earlier, it's a privilege for me to have you here in the basement. You are always welcome. You are always important. And until next time, be well.